On peut toujours plus baisser tête. Monsieur le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. Ah, on va The court is now back in session. And we'd like now to give the floor to the lead co lawyers for civil parties to continue putting questions to this witness. You may proceed. Civil party lawyers, thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Ned Jonas, and everyone. Mr. Witness, I'd like you to give a more clarification. Monsieur le témoin, j'aimerais entendre de votre part davantage de précision. On the issue of a typing documents. J'aimerais que vous me parliez plus avant Can de la you, uh, court the person who brought the handwritten document to you, à la chambre. was it done by that person personally, or was the document left somewhere si and you would only go to pick uh, that handwritten si document, document up and typed it uh, all day? Si and how long did it take you to, to type those documents? Was it an hour or two hour work, or was it a all day long work? Answer. When I was assigned to uh, type the documents, usually it takes less than an hour or less than half an hour to finish it because the, the document uh, was short. And I was only called to type to Occasionally, it Et happened uh, a week, once a week, or once uh, a fortnight. And after I finished the typing, I would return to my uh, guard post. Question. Question. I'd like now to uh, clarify a video again on the prisoners uh, being brought in. When prisoners were brought in, while you were inside the compound, the prison compound, was it your job to receive the prisoners and uh, take them to the prisoners' buildings? Answer. During the time that I uh, used the typewriter uh, there, that was not the period that I received any prisoners. Prisoners were brought in from either the west or the east, and then they would be handed over to the prison staff. For example, from the West entrance, the prison staff at the West gate would receive them. As to the role of the guards there, the prison staff who, who were there at the gate was the one who received the prisoners, not the guards, like myself. Thank you. Question. Did you know about the arrangement of the prisoners in the two uh, buildings? Were children or uh, women put aside, or were they mixed together with male prisoners? And so I did not know about that. Question. What about the uh, food uh, ration for those uh, prisoners? Can you uh, tell the court? Alimentaire pour ces prisonniers. Que pouvez-vous dire à la chambre? Answer. Réponse. As to the food uh, ration, from what I could observe, 
the most uh, food the that a uh, prisoner vu. could uh, eat or was given was a, au plus a coconut shell full of uh, rice. De noix de that was the most. La quantité maximale Question, was the coconut shell Question. used for a rice or for other things? Pour le riz et pour choses, ou pour le riz? Answer, Réponse. the coconut shell was used uh, for gruel or for cooked rice mixed with soup le in it. Riz cuit avec la soupe, le tout mélangé. Question. Question. For, but for your group, how was the food ration like for your group? Quelles étaient les portions alimentaires? Answer. For uh, my unit, in fact, we ate uh, outside the compound nous and nous our food was uh, not re uh, related to the food given to the prisoners. Although our food was uh, not really sufficient, but it was better than the food ration given to prisoners. Que ce qui était servi Thank you. Question. Do you know a person by the name of Duch? Connaissez-vous une personne du nom de Duch? Answer yes. Réponse oui. Question. Question. Did you have any uh, contact or relationship with him? Did you ever have a, a joint meal together? Étiez-vous en contact avec cette personne Entreteniez-vous une quelconque relation avec cette personne, par exemple Avez-vous déjeuné avec lui No, une? I did not. Réponse, non. Question. Question. Within Kangtachan Security Center, did you know how many staff working inside? Saviez-vous combien de personnes travaillaient au sein de l'enceinte de Kangtachan? Uh, in Kangtachan Security Center, I did not know the exact number of staff working there. Eh bien, je ne savais pas combien de personnes y travaillaient. Question. Question. Mr. Uh, witness, did you ever see a prisoner or a, uh, a several prisoners who could move around freely within Monsieur the prison compound? For example, si uh, a prisoner would go to clean up a place, uh, lie in a, a typing room. Un prisonnier qui serait venu nettoyer une salle comme la salle dans laquelle uh, vous effectuiez les travaux de dactylographie. Yes, I saw a Réponse. one man oui, by the name of Dam, Dam, who did the sweeping of the ground qui and uh, watering the uh, vegetable. Et d'arroser les légumes. Question. During the time that you work uh, there, was there a, a ceremony of the so-called making a resolution or, or in simple terms of uh, uh, getting married held at uh, that center? Answer, no, there was none. Réponse, non. Question. You were questioned by the co prosecutor Question. in relation to the time that prisoners were killed, that they uh, play music over uh, a loudspeaker. Was such 
a music played over a, a mobile loudspeaker. S'agissait-il d'un haut-parleur mobile? And uh, no, there Réponse, was none. Non, il n'y en avait pas. Question. During the time that you Question. worked there, did you see two women who were sent from a mobile unit through the center? Au centre pendant la période où vous étiez là-bas. And if so, did you know what happened to them later on? Savez-vous ce qu'il est arrivé à ces deux femmes? Answer: No, I uh, did not meet them, nor no see them. Je ne les ai pas vus. Question. Question. When you did the typing of the documents, did you come across the the names of the two women? Avez-vous vu le nom de ces deux femmes? Le pendant vos travaux de dactylographie and uh, no i was not aware of that as i Réponse, did not pay attention non, to it pas fait attention. i did not know uh, their names je ne connaissais pas leurs noms because there were uh, several names les il y avait beaucoup de noms Question. You stated Question. that you saw tortured prisoners. Vous Can you tell the court where did you exactly torturés. see them? Pourriez-vous dire à la chambre où exactement vous les avez vus? Answer. Réponse. To respond to your question, I myself did not witness the torture prisoners. Question, what I uh, heard was the screaming of the torture prisoners, but I did not witness torturés. them with my own eyes. De la scène. Questioned. Question. How far were you? from the uh, prisoners when you heard the screaming? Were you at your guard post or were you in the uh, typing room when you heard the screaming? Dans la salle de dactylographie lorsque vous avez entendu les cris. And uh, I could also hear the screaming from my guard post Depuis if the scream garde, uh, if the scream was si uh, high or loud. But usually fort. only when I was uh, closer that I could hear the screaming However, usually we were not allowed to go near when the interrogation was ongoing and we were uh, directed to stay at our guard post outside the parameter of the compound. Question. You stated that a messenger came on a, a CL motorbike to the center uh, on a monthly basis. Did you personally see him? That is the Le messenger. Vous personnellement, l'avez-vous vu de vos propres yeux, ce messager? Answer. Réponse. I never said a messenger came on a Je monthly basis. I said occasionally a messenger came and not on a monthly basis. I only saw the, a messenger with a cap or with a scarf around the neck uh, came into the center and I did not uh, recognize uh, the face or, or know the man. Thank you, uh, Mr. Witness and Mr. Merci, President. Monsieur I do not have any further Monsieur questions. Le président, je pas d'autres questions. President, uh, thank you. President, je vous remercie. Uh, judges of the bench, 
Do you wish to put questions to the uh, witness? Uh, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. I have a few follow-up questions Monsieur for the témoin, vous nous avez dit witness. Que vous étiez détaché, si bien compris, du 13e régiment et que vous y aviez été détaché pour monter la garde à Kankanchang. Quel était le nom de votre supérieur Puisque, selon vous, ce n'était ni Ta'an ni Duke. Quel était le nom de votre supérieur What was the name of your superior? The commander of Le Division 210 and uh, Regiment 13 that I knew was Ta and Min. Ta et Min. Comment receviez-vous des ordres de Ta et How Mien did you receive orders from Ta and À quelle Mien? distance était situé le régiment dont vous dépendiez How far away from you was the regiment to which you belonged Man, a regiment 13 did not have Le a fixed base. It was uh, constantly on a mobile in various fixe. villages. Constamment itinérant and it village. was uh, hundreds of kilometers away Et il était à 100 from the center, du centre. It is from Krantachan Center, and Krantachan. in some cases, it was about 80 kilometers Parfois, from Krantachan. Il était à 80 km. Comment Communiquez-vous avec vos supérieurs de ce régiment qui était à 80, 100 km de Krengtanshan et qui n'était jamais au même endroit Comment communiquez-vous communiquez avec lui Man. Before we were transferred, in fact, they, they, already, they already designated us uh, to carry out the guard duty. And once we received that guard duty, it means that we would be at a fixed location Et there. Lorsque nous avons reçu cet ordre, and if there was a new uh, instruction, it would happen si like two or three months after. And during the period that I was at Kranta Chan office, I only made my superior once because I was there for only four or five months. And in fact, the commander never came to see us. It was us who were called to meet him. And when did you meet him? It was during the daytime. C'était pendant la journée. At the division headquarters. Au siège de la division. Comment avez-vous su qu'il fallait aller au siège de la, de la division? How did you know that you had to go to the headquarters of the division? A messenger came to call us. At that time, the only way of communication was via a messenger. Donc, si je résume ce que vous venez de nous dire, pendant tout le temps que vous avez été à Krangtan Chan, vous n'avez reçu qu'une seule fois des instructions, c'était pour vous dire de vous rendre à la division. And those instructions were that you should go to the en division. De ça, vous jamais reçu Apart from that, you never received any other instructions. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. That's exact. Et ni Taan, ni Taduk, 
ne pouvait vous donner des instructions pour un travail à faire à Kranthachan. C'est exact. Alors, comment se fait-il que vous soyez passé d'un statut de gardien à celui de sténotypiste ou de, de dactylographe Qui a décidé que vous effectueriez des travaux de dactylographie et qui vous en a donné l'ordre Je ne suis pas devenu personnel du centre de Krantachan. Je me demandais dès lorsque le dactylographe habituel n'était pas disponible. Et ce n'était que pour une brève période de temps, parce que je savais dactylographier. Et donc je pouvais remplacer le dactylographe habituel. Et après que j'ai terminé le traitement des documents, je vais retourner à mon garde de travail. Je revenais à mon poste de garde. Vous n'avez pas répondu à ma question. Qui vous a donné pour instruction d'aider à effectuer des travaux de dactylographie deux, soit à Anne, soit à Douche. Et c'était l'un des deux. Alors, lequel était-ce And which of the two gave you those instructions Could you please uh, repeat your question Pourriez-vous répéter votre question Qui de ta Anne ou de ta Douche vous a demander d'aider à effectuer des travaux de dactylographie. Réponse. Les deux, en fait. Sometimes Anne des fois, called me Anne to assist in typing, and sometimes it was Dutch who called me to assist Deux. with the typing. Qui qui me so it, it, both of them uh, would Deux, call alors. me to assist uh, in uh, typing when the typist uh, was not available. Pourquoi, si ni ta Anne ni Tadouk n'étaient vos supérieurs, vous avez accepté d'effectuer de tels travaux alors que votre rôle était de garder à l'extérieur le centre de sécurité. Pourquoi vous devriez savoir qu'à l'époque du Khmer Rouge, la plupart des gens étaient analphabètes. Et moi, j'avais une certaine connaissance, je savais des lettres, des typings. Donc, quand ils m'ont demandé de les aider, ils n'avaient aucune autorité sur moi, ils ne m'ont pas demandé de les aider, ils n'avaient pas l'autorité de les aider. Et ils n'avaient pas l'autorité de les aider à l'unité de six hommes que j'ai appartenu. Mais parce que j'ai su comment taper et quand ils n'avaient pas l'aide, j'ai juste demandé à leur aide. Mais comme ils n'avaient pas besoin d'aide, je n'ai fait que leur donner un coup de main. Et c'est le seul coup de main que vous ayez donné Et c'est le seul coup de main que vous ayez donné ou vous avez donné d'autres coups de main Was that the only thing you did by way of assistance, or you did other things to assist Je n'ai pas eu d'autres skills. 
simple. Je n'avais aucune autre compétence. en dactylographie et en orthographe. Alors, j'aimerais que vous nous expliquiez un peu plus en détail où like vous avez appris à dactylographier. Where you learned to type. I learned to type at the uh, primary school in Angchuk. I was at uh, year 8 in the old education system, and in fact I learned to type since I was young, so that I could still remember how to type. And when the uh, war broke out, although I did Lorsque not go to school anymore, I could still si recall how to type, although it was not the, the skills que that I appris. actually uh, earned or effective in. Donc vous nous dites que vous avez appris à l'école primaire so à dactylographier. Il y, a, il y avait beaucoup d'élèves à l'école primaire qui apprenaient à dactylographier. Vous étiez le seul. Pupils in the primary school who learned to type, or you were the only one who learned to type. Yes, there were a few other students and uh, not many at the time. Usually uh, we learned to type during uh, the, the break and we actually went to the uh, library to learn to type and there was no uh, typing instructor. Il n'y avait pas d'instructeur. So there was no instructor. Et il y avait une machine à écrire. And there was a typewriter. Et comme vous avez vu la machine à écrire, vous avez dit tiens, and since you je vais apprendre à, you said, hey, à taper la machine, I'm ça pourrait être utile plus tard. How to type. It might be useful later on. At that time, I was young and I saw a typewriter and I wanted to learn how to type and I wanted to know it. And uh, during the primary school that I was there, there was no other typewriter around. There was only one in the uh, library and I uh, used it. And my sole purpose was just to learn how to type. Était simplement d'apprendre à dactylographier. Et vous aviez quel âge quand vous avez découvert ces talents précoces, monsieur? And how old were you when you discovered uh, these gifts? Mark, can you tell me about how to? I was probably 13 or 14 years old. Uh, it was before the coup d'état in 1970. I was probably 13 or 14 years old. Je devais avoir 13 ou 14 ans. Et entre l'école primaire et Krentanshan, vous n'avez jamais exercé l'activité de dactylographe. You never worked as a typist. Never. Is that correct? Avez-vous tapé à la machine entre l'école primaire et le moment où vous êtes retrouvé à Krang Tachang? Did you ever type between the time you were in primary school and when you were at Krang Tachang? Answer: No, I didn't. I didn't do any typing in between. Alors, comment Ta'an et Tadouk ont-ils pu savoir que so vous saviez taper la machine Comment l'ont-ils su How did they get to know that? Ils ont su que vous saviez taper la machine. On posé la question. I reported to them that I uh, can read and write, and que je lire I écrire. told them that I can do the typing. Et que je taper à la and 
I told them that I can do typing, but I was uh, a bit fearful at the beginning because my skill was very limited. Parce que je n'étais pas très bon en dactylographie. Et si j'ai bien compris ce que vous avez dit tout à l'heure, vous avez remplacé quelqu'un. You replaced someone, if I understood Alors, correctly. Alors, avez-vous remplacé? So who did you replace? Man, Arte. Answer, no. I did not replace anyone Je n'ai remplacé them. aucun d'eux. Donc, vous étiez le premier, monsieur à Kreng Tanshan à utiliser une machine à écrire. So you were the first one at Kreng Tanshan to use a typewriter. Is that so? Answer, no. It was not my first time. No. Because uh, there were several fois. other people did that uh, before. D'autres. I don't know how many Plusieurs of them do the typist, but I was moi, the last um, person to, uh, to arrive and le do uh, the typing. Mm. Que vous me disiez exactement à quelle I'd like you to tell me exactly how de garde far the guard post was where you were working au centre from the center at Krankachan. Because I heard one kilometer, I heard further, so I would like to know exactly how far you were uh, from the Krankachan center. Answer. Uh, there were two phases. The first was when I was uh, stationed about one kilometer away, and later, about one year later, I was assigned to a guard at the gate to Krang Tachan, and the gate and the surrounding fence all together uh, it was only one Le hectare point five. It's about 150 meters. I was stationed at the, uh, the gate, and there were two gates, one in the, to the east and another one to the west of the center. Je ne comprends pas très bien. J'ai besoin de plus de, de clarification. Well. Vous nous dites au début que vous étiez environ un kilomètre. Et ensuite, vous étiez au so? portail. Ce portail and était you are plus loin qu'un kilomètre was ou c'était plus près du centre the friends of the uh, center. As I told you earlier, Comme je dit, the size was probably 1.5 hectare. So uh, the first gate was hectares. one kilometer. La and later, my place was closer to the, Ensuite, to the uh, uh, compound and the center was very small in size, it's about one kilometer and a half. And there were two phases. The first, uh, I was about one kilometer, and the second phase, I was stationed uh, at the gate uh, of the uh, fence. And uh, the, the compound totally about 150 uh, square meter. L'enceinte faisait 150 mètres carrés. Donc vous étiez au bord d'une clôture qui so faisait 150 mètres carrés. C'est-à-dire que vous étiez vraiment circling an area of 150 square meters, which means that you were very close du centre. To the center. À... Vous étiez presque dans le centre. Almost uh, within the compound. Ma 
Est-ce que c'est à cet endroit que vous avez entendu des cris de prisonniers qui étaient torturés screaming prisoners who were being tortured Est-ce que c'est là ou est-ce que c'est quand vous étiez à 1 km Was it there or was it when you were a kilometer away Yes, when I was uh, closer at the gate, I could hear the screaming from the prisoners. So you heard the prisoners scream, but you never heard loudspeakers. That's what you told us earlier, isn't it? Jamais de haut-parleur. Never loudspeakers. Mais Never par contre, gunshots, des cris, but vous en however, avez entendu. You heard screams. C'est exact. Is that the case? Enfin, Est-ce que vous nous confirmez Can you confirm que c'est ce que vous avez dit Est-ce que vous confirmez que c'est bien said? la réalité Can you confirm that that is what happened? Mahat, but the God man. Respond, yes, this is true. C'est exact. Some day, I'm going to be I told you the same uh, account as I told the court. Je Earlier. maintiens ce que j'ai dit. Et vous nous dites que vous n'avez pas entendu ou pas vu de haut-parleur. So you're telling us that you did not hear any loudspeakers or you did not see any. Answer. I did not see nor did I hear Je any music on vu, the loudspeaker. Avez-vous vu des prisonniers blessés? Did you see injured prisoners? Answer, no, I don't. No. I have never seen that. Jamais. Avez-vous vu des prisonniers ressortir du centre Did you see any prisoners step out of the compound Answer, yes, I saw some of them. Oui, j'en ai vu. Um, who, Quelques-uns. Who stepped out. Qui sont but I don't sortis. know um, whether they were let out to go home or to Mais go anywhere. Je ne sais pas si on les a laissés rentrer chez eux ou aller ailleurs. Et quand ils sont sortis, ils avaient les mains attachées ou ils étaient totalement libres or, Est-ce qu'il y a quelqu'un pour les accompagner ou est-ce qu'ils étaient tout seuls When they stepped out, were their hands tied or were they completely free Was someone with them or were they on their own When they left Krang Techan Center, no one escorted them. But when they were sent out from Krang Techan, most of them were tied up. So these ones were not uh, released to go to their home. Pas libérés, ils ne when pas they were tied up with both hands behind, and they sent out and dans le dos. other people would come and receive them at the center. I just witnessed that they were brought out from the detention and handed over to another group of people de to send them away. I don't know what happened to them. Qui était cet autre groupe? And uh, who made up this other group? Answer, I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. Il passait par hasard, il, 
whether they're just by chance, or were these people who had received uh, specific instructions according to you? Answer. I don't know whether they came accidentally or uh, or they receive uh, order from anybody. I have no idea. I just saw them uh, taking uh, the prisoner away. And when people would show up at the gate, ou au portail à l'intérieur. Oh, Est-ce qu'il fallait qu'ils donnent des documents Est-ce qu'il y avait des autorisations à fournir pour entrer à l'intérieur du centre kind of Answer. No. They were in black uniform carrying rifle and they enter into the compound. All I had to do was to uh, open uh, the door for them. I did not ask for their identity because they are in a, a, a such uniform, so I had to open the door for them. Bien. Depuis que vous avez cessé vos activités à Krangtan Chan, avez-vous revu d'anciens membres du personnel de Krangtan Chan Ou avez-vous revu d'anciens prisonniers de Krangtan Chan Answer. For the staff who worked with me uh, in a six-man group, I have never met him. Um, we were separated and uh, they were married. And I didn't see any prisoners because I left Krang Tachan in July 1978. And I returned to my unit because I was the first one to leave and join my unit. J'étais le premier à partir pour regagner mon unité. Donc vous n'avez jamais revu aucun détenu de Krang Tan Chan. So you never saw jamais. any prisoner from Krang Tan Chan again, never. No, later I have never met any of them. Je plus revu I met only uh, Soy Sen, only Soy Sen, but Soy not Sen, any other prisoners. Aucun autre prisonnier. Et Soy Sen n'était pas prisonnier à Krang Chan? And wasn't Soy Sen a prisoner at Krang Tan Chan? No. No. He was one of the prisoners, but he was detained un before my arrival. But when I left the, the center, uh, he was still there in that prison. Centre, il y I don't know when he was released. Je ne sais pas à quel moment il a été relâché. Yeah. vous poser une question qui peut paraître saugrenue, monsieur, mais let me put a question to you that des might bons, des seem a bit strange to you. Tanchan. Today, do you have rather fond or unpleasant memories of Krang Tachang? Answer. At the moment, I would like to tell your honors that uh, for the rest of my life, I don't want to know, chose. I don't want to see, and vie, such a regime, I don't want to recall, to remember for regime. my younger generation. This is my bitterly experience. I don't know much difficile. because I was young. I was not a cadre. Jeune, je pas I know cadre. very little information. Because I could not see, I could not 
Here, sometimes I just heard. This is my regret that I do not remember everything very well. However, I could say that it is my um, bad uh, regret in my life. Je peux dire que c'est une période de ma vie par rapport à laquelle j'éprouve beaucoup de regrets. Monsieur, si je résume ce que j'ai entendu, vous avez so if I sum up what you just said, vu très peu de choses, you saw very little. entendu quelques cris, you heard a few howls. et vous nous dites que vous avez beaucoup de regrets. And you're telling us that Alors, you have que a lot of regret. Quels sont ces regrets so what et is pourquoi this regret? c'était difficile votre séjour à Krang Tachang? And why was your stay at Krang Tachang so difficult? Answer. It was not an interesting thing no for no me, no but no at the no time I was young, I uh, do not remember things. À jeune, so des the choses. activities or any uh, bad thing happening to other family members i do not remember je ne sais plus everything. si des choses sont arrivées that à d'autres gens à d'autres familles i feel very hopeless in myself voilà pourquoi je suis désespéré alors ce sera ma dernière question monsieur so vous avez dit que vous avez des regrets you say that you ces regrets regret. sont des regrets pour vous-même ou ce sont des regrets pour les gens is this regret with respect Tanshan. to yourself, or is this regret with respect to the people who were detained at Krang Tachang? Answer. I feel regret. Um, J'éprouve des regrets. For myself and also those who were detained. Et pour les détenus. It was a wall-less or a prison without wall. C'était une prison sans mur. So when you are driving a horse cart, so the horse would uh, be harnessed and with Quand on uh, conduit une charrette, uh, something to cover le cheval uh, the, a, a the eyes, the horse can see only one uh, direction, not the other way. So this is uh, my example for you, Judge. Que très peu de choses. Voilà une analogie que je puis faire à votre intention, Monsieur le Juge. Monsieur le Président, je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à ce témoin. Mr. President, I have no further questions to put to this witness. La parole va à présent être donnée à la défense de Nunchea. Uh, President, uh, now the floor is given to the defense counsel for Mr. Nunchea to put question to the witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, good afternoon, Mr. Witness. Bon -midi, Monsieur le Témoin. Um, I have a few questions to put to you. Questions à vous poser. I would like to take you back first to uh, the period before uh, 1975, à à um, before Dakio Provincial Town was taken. Avant la prise de and I would like la uh, to read de to Takeo. you part of a vous statement of a cadre uh, also from the southwest zone like yourself. Mr. President, um, I would like to put before the witness uh, E127-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7-7
Mr. Witness, this is a statement, like I said, from Comme a southwest uh, zone cadre, cadre de la zone and I would like to read a few excerpts de de from this statement, and I would like to ask your reaction, please. Pour vous y faire <coughs> um, so this cadre says the following Voici in question A5, the answer A5. Ce cadre à la numéro With this regard, Grandfather Mock issued an order that Le the commune, Mok district, and sector levels did not have the authority to make arrests or kill people. He the investigator then asks, Ensuite, asks the following question. Um, grandfather, grandfather Mock said that the district and sector levels did not have the authority to kill people. Why were many people killed in the district and the sectors. And then the tués cadre answers in A7, I did not know either about the implementation, but I recall Grandfather Mock's remarks clearly. Next question, was Grandfather Mock in the zone committee? Answer 8, yes, he was. And then, specifically, the next passage, um, I would like to ask you a reaction on that. That is question A9. When did Grandfather make this La announcement? Est, Answer. Grandfather Mock made this announcement prior to 1975 during a wrap-up meeting held annually in Forest, participated by the commune, forêt, district, and provincial committees and the regiments. After uh, uh, 1975, there was another meeting in the provincial town of Takiu, in the presence of Grandfather Mok and Som, who was in the Sector 13 committee, announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. My question specifically goes to um, uh, the last sentence, that there was an announcement Donc, uh, in 1975, that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Does a meeting like this or earlier meetings uh, in the southwest zone um, bring, any back, bring, bring back any memories with you? Est-ce que la réunion ici mentionnée vous rappelle des souvenirs? Answer. Réponse. Since I joined the Khmer Rouge Army, I never attended any meeting. I have never Rouge, met a mock. I heard only his name. Even though in a small or a large meeting, I did non, not attend any of the meeting at all. So I don't know what happened, what announced in any meeting. Maybe you did not personally attend such a meeting, but do you remember if in 1975 or before 1975 your commanding officer or his commanding officer said words to the same effect? that dit uh, soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Do you remember any of this? Answer. No, I didn't hear anything like Je that. Rien de I didn't hear anyone saying like that. Je entendu dire cela. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lepis. I would like to move on Question. now to um, Frank Tachan the re-education center. Um, de de do you remember well um, a woman vous in that um, re-education center, a woman who was cooking for prisoners, grandmother Noor? Pour les prisonniers, la grand-mère Noor. Answer. Réponse. Yes, I heard her name, Ye Nyo, but I don't know her well. But Ye Nyo was detained there before my arrival. When I left for the center, I don't know whether she was still there. When I was assigned to Krang De Chan, she was already there ahead of me. Do you remember two of her children? Uh, Mia Sarat de, de enfants, or Rat, Mia Sarat uh, or and Mia Soka or Ka. Or Ka. Answer. Réponse. I don't remember. 
capitaine. Je ne me souviens pas de. Um, Question. Earlier, you were asked about um, Mia Spoon. Vous avez été interrogé concernant Mia Spoon. I take it from your previous answer that you wouldn't know whether Mia Spoon avez donné, je is in any way related si family-wise to Mia Sarat or Mia Sokka. Avec Mia Sarat ou Mia Sokka. Answer. Réponse. No, there was. There was no uh, relationship by blood or uh, in law. Il n'y avait entre ces personnes aucun lien de parenté par le sang ou par alliance. But this would imply that you Question. would know. Um, Cela implique uh, Rat and Ka, uh, Mia Sarat and Mia Soka, or am I Rat et Ka, misunderstanding Mia your answer? Mia Sarat and Mia Soka, à moins que je n'ai mal compris votre réponse. Answer. I heard réponse. their name, but I don't know them. J'ai entendu citer leur nom, them. mais je ne connais pas ces personnes. Um, Question. Do you happen to know whether um, a fellow guard, his name was mentioned earlier, Van Son, si Van Son uh, was somehow un related um, avait un lien to the husband of avec um, Mia Sarat? Le mari de Mia Sarat. Answer. Réponse. No, I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. I don't uh, know this person. Je ne connais pas cette personne. Um, one question. quick question about uh, Sai Sen before Rapidement, I move on. Une question sur Sai Sen. Avant de passer but, à la um, suite, je reviendrai plus tard à Sai Sen. Right now, actuellement, close to him, vivez-vous uh, près de sa maison, from his village? À deux kilomètres de son uh, village, est-ce exact? Answer. Réponse. I don't know where he is living. J'ignore où il habite. I don't know his uh, residence. Um, so this means that you're also not in contact with him. Uh, have, you, have you spoken to him uh, after 1979? Avez-vous parlé avec lui après 1979? Réponse. Après 1979, M. Sarsen est venu une fois chez moi. J'ai oublié les détails de notre conversation. C'était juste une rencontre sociale et ça a été la seule fois que je l'ai rencontré. Just to be sure, did you, Question. not after uh, 1979, ever speak 79, on the events in Krang Tachan with um, uh, Grandmother Noor, her children, Yenyo, Sarat or, ses um, or Sarat uh, Soka, Sokra, or anybody ou else avec uh, tout autre who were detained there or who was a guard? Ayant été détenu là-bas ou bien y ayant travaillé comme garde. After 1979, I have not spoken or made any of them. Mr. President, I would like to show the witness um, a few pages from uh, some documents. Um, this line of questioning might take a while. I don't know if you would like to break now or that I should continue with these questions. If uh, that is the case, let really me break early so that it's not going to interrupt the process of your questioning. The time is not appropriate for a short break. We will take a break now. Ainsi, nous allons observer une courte pause maintenant. And return at 10 to 3. Court officer, could you assist the witness and the duty counsel during the break? 
and have them return to the a courtroom at 10 to 3. The court is now in recess. Some change, Groucho.